It was one year ago last week when Maureen Blade, Chief Executive Officer of Yaki Foundations, and John Harrington, Chair of the Yaki Foundation's Board of Trustees, first visited the Brockton Hospital campus. It's hard to believe that one year later, we stand here to dedicate the Yaki Center. We're extremely thankful to the trustees of the Yaki Foundations for believing in us and affirming our value to the greater Brockton community. Peter, thank you for being such a valued partner in allowing us to display the Yaki Center name on this building. On behalf of the students and faculty, the board, the staff at the hospital, and the community, thank you to the Yawkey Foundation for this incredible financial gift, as well as the gift of your name of the foundation and the pleasure and gift of being able to be associated with the legacy of the Yawkey family. Your gift, your appreciation and trust of us is humbling, and we thank you. Your gift is going to make a difference for our school, and it's going to make a difference for our hospital, both now and in the future. Last year, we reached out to the state and gained their approval to build two new operating rooms. In fact, just over that corner where the O-Radiation Therapy Center is, we'll be building two new additional operating rooms for outpatients with great parking outside. State approved the program. We put it aside because we didn't have the money to do it last year. We also need to expand our emergency room, which is right over there, to better take care of behavioral health patients who are suffering and having a difficult time finding long-term resources. We put that aside also because we know in this community what it's like to live within your means. And we've had to as a hospital for years and years to live within our means. Your financial support is going to allow us to begin now to work on the operating suite and expand our emergency room. And we thank you for being able to do that. First of all, I want to welcome everybody to the City of Champions, the City of Brockton. I want to thank the uh, Board of Trustees for the hospital. I want to thank Kim Holland and his leadership. I want to especially thank the Yaki Foundation and the trustees. I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Harrington for being here today and for what you've done for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Mr. Harrington and I are both proud graduates of Boston College. And what we learned from the Jesuits was to do for others, to give back to others. And that's what the Yaki Foundation has done year in and year out. But that's what this medical facility also has done. Now, I was born in that building April 27, 1970. And my mom, when she graduated from Catherine Labre as a registered nurse, she worked there. My wife, Maria, physician assistant, worked in the ER for 14 years. But it's the brave men and women of our medical facility here at Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital that put their lives on the line each day. The doctors, the nurses, the PAs, the techs, the custodians, the cafeteria workers, the security guards, the custodians, everybody did their job. That's what they were charged to do. That's their passion. That's why the Yaki Center here is such a special place going forward. It's going to be training the next generation of medical providers and nurses. So people have asked us, why this grant to Brockton Hospital now? The Yaki Foundation has a long history of giving in Brockton, and 2020 was no exception to that commitment. As many of you know, our offices are just up the road in Dedham, and so we have a special understanding of the challenges Brockton and its surrounding communities face. Yaki Foundation has funded over $5 million in grants here in Brockton. And in many conversations and visits with our nonprofit partners providing needed services to your residents, we kept hearing about the great things that were going on at Brockton Hospital. So Jeff's right. We began speaking with Brockton Hospital last year, long before COVID began. We were able to meet with Kim Holland and the leadership team and learn about the incredible strides they made in quality and safety and the national recognition they have received for those efforts. Truthfully, the highlight of those visits was the opportunity to meet and hear the personal stories from the students themselves. Each one of those students displaying a motivation, a talent, and a laser focus on achieving their career aspirations in nursing. So when COVID hit us all in early spring, our trustees wanted to provide help where it was needed most, and we immediately thought of all that we had learned here at Brockton Hospital. The trustees already had a deep understanding of the critical role the hospital was playing in the community, 
and understood that this community was so disproportionately impacted by the virus. And during COVID, more than ever, our trustees wanted to recognize the essential role of nurses on the front lines of medical care and the personal sacrifices they make every day to provide that care. It should come as no surprise that the trustees were inspired to give this grant to the Brockton Hospital and School of Nursing for the following reason. It's a no-brainer that this grant will increase access to world-class health care in Greater Brockton, and we believe that all of Greater Boston, and indeed Massachusetts, deserve world-class health care. It's a no-brainer that this will provide more than 200 students with unique opportunities for real-world clinical experience through innovative outreach programs and faculty mentorship. It's a no-brainer that this will afford the School of Nursing and its students the state-of-the-art classrooms and laptops for each student and the cutting-edge sim lab that they need and that they deserve. And it's a no-brainer that this is not simply an investment in healthcare and medical access for this community. It's also a pathway for economic mobility for people living in the region, enabling students to learn 21st century job skills and credentials that lead to good salaries after just two years without the crushing burden of debt with which so many students find themselves saddled.